Okay guys, right now I'm in the Tok Tok here in Mumbai, my first time here and I really look forward to really vibing yeah, yeah. in the city. But now I've, this is my Tok Tok driver. How are you? Devo. Devo. Ah. Hey, what's your name? My name is Jail Haq. Oh, Jail Haq. So his name is Jail Haq. Did you get a lot of fun? Yes, yes. You also get a lot of fun. Yes, yes. Thank So my food has arrived, so this is it. This is the chicken biryani. This is what it looks like. And they give it in these copper type plates. So let's have a little taste. Quick look at what's going on. What they got here? They got chicken noodles, fresh juice. All right. So they got like... Namaste. Ab kaise hai? Bahut swagat hai. Today we're on the streets of Mumbai, and after an amazing series we did in Yelapur amongst the city community, we're in the big city. And I have to tell you, my first impressions of Mumbai is very overwhelming. It's a massive city, a mega city. So much things going on, different places to go, and the traffic is crazy. But let me show you what I'm seeing in front of me right now. So this is the streets of Mumbai. Now Mumbai is a cosmopolitan city. You got people from all different parts of India that's coming here for work purposes. People that are born here from different communities. And you of course got people from different parts of the world that come and live here and do business here. So it's a very, very diverse city and the, one of the main languages spoken here in Mumbai is of course Hindi and English we got, we got biryani selling here at 70 rupees this is where all the locals will come and eat these are veggie biryani we got a spa over there people come for the spa treatment not bad, we got hot dogs and burgers. First time I'm actually seeing that in a long time. Because I've been in the village for quite some time, so you wasn't seeing these kind of things. But the city is modern as you can see. Modern city. These are all the fruit juices and stuff here. Oh let me have a quick look at what's going on. What they got here? They got chicken noodles. Fresh juice. Alright. So they got like pancakes and noodles and all of that good stuff there. So this side of Mumbai is a bit more developed. You got a lot of banks around, a lot of students, different government buildings and stuff like that, you can tell. Reminds me a little bit of Chennai here, you know. I'm getting a bit of a kind of a Chennai vibe. But anyways, right now I'm looking for something to eat. I'm going to pop over on the other side and see what they got. Got to be careful when I'm crossing the road. This is Mumbai, the real streets of Mumbai. Namaskar. Hi. Got people selling there. Right by the side of the road. 
you know? I don't know what's going on. When you come to India, one of the things you gotta find out is Is it non-veg or veg, you know? Hello, hello? Non-veg or veg? Non-veg, both. Non both. Can I have a look at menu? Yeah. Thank you. So we're gonna have a look. They say they do uh, non-veg. This is it in here. Nice little spot right next to the fan. Thank you so much, my friend. All right. Wow, different prices. Do you do chicken biryani? Yes, chicken biryani. Which one you have? Chicken, chicken biryani, mutton biryani. Okay, 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 okay. So you have chicken biryani, mutton biryani. All right, different prices. Uh, let's see. Alright guys, so my food has arrived, so this is it, this is the chicken biryani, this is what it looks like and they give it in these copper type plates, so let's have a little taste of what's going on. So this is chicken biryani, let's pour it out here. I must say Mumbai is very expensive compared to other cities that I've been for chicken biryani. So this one came up to 450 rupees. So let's see. Let's see if it's worth it. Usually people eat it with their hands. So this is it guys. This is the chicken biryani. Seasoned really well. The rice is a bit too soft in my opinion, but still got a nice taste to it. You usually get this kind of sauce as well, the type of yogurt sauce you can put on the rice if it's too spicy, you put a little bit like that. And then you kind of mix it, usually people mix it with their hands. And then you just eat it to reduce the spiciness. Mm. Mm. It goes nice with the yogurt sauce. So, decent biryani. I'm gonna finish this up and we'll continue exploring more of Mumbai. Peace. Alright, yeah, so we had a meal. Thing in India, sometimes you go in some restaurants, and these are more upscale restaurants, so it's standard, but let's say something is 450 there, and you eat in, there's also tax that they add on it. And sometimes they might pop in a little service charge there as well. So Always read your bill so you understand what's going on. If you don't mind giving an optional service charge so they could share amongst the staff, then that's cool. If not, just be aware of that. So yeah, we're just taking a casual stroll. I mean, really in these upscale areas, there's not really too much going on pretty much high-rising buildings these are just apartments where people are staying apartments and when I was coming here I noticed Mumbai is quite a huge city and I did see a lot of high-rising buildings and a lot of a lot of them are popping up if you see right there that's one right there and right behind it A new one is under construction, so building boom going on here. 
Wow, well, you got burgers, you got fried chicken, you got wraps for one, 129 rupees. Wow. Mangoes, namaste. What HSBC India? Namaste. Aap kaise hain? Yeah, theek hai. All right. So Mumbai, one of the name the British used to call this city Bombay, and they had a. The British had a lot of their government offices and stuff here in um, Mumbai or Bombay as the British called it. It used to be at one of those places where when you think of India immediately you think about Bombay. It was quite a popular city man just like how London is known. A lot of people know Mumbai or Bombay here in India. One of the largest slums as well is in Mumbai. I think it's called Dan, Danvi, Danvi Slums. It's one of the largest slums in the world, but it generates over one point something billion dollars every year in terms of the people that live and work in the various factories and the different businesses and stuff which are around there and how other big companies depend on the workforce that comes from that particular area. So that will be found in Mumbai. These are all apartments again, more apartments. But we need, we need to see a bit more of a cultural vibe in Mumbai. You know, this is my first day here. I literally arrived from a very long journey. I took the night bus and I'm a little tired as well. I don't know if you can tell, but I just say, let me pop out, get something to eat and just walk around the area. But we're gonna explore more and check out other places, guys. So I hope you, enjoyed today's vlog we're seeing the more upscale side of um mumbai i guess some people will say here where here's where the rich people hide in mumbai you know we got white roads these are all apartments you know this is certainly much more of an upscale area in comparison to other places in mumbai Wow, really interesting how they have the um, the plants there on the burglar proof at the top there they have hanging plants that's interesting they're really trying to incorporate a bit of greenery in the town nice yeah this is definitely one of the affluent areas here in the city I'm sure there's more affluent areas, but this is just one of them. So what do you think of Mumbai so far, guys? Do you like what you're seeing? This is a mango tree right there. Wow. They just let that grow wild. It's literally that is where it roots up, where it just goes right across the whole street from the top. Look at that. Family formed an arch at the top. Okay, so this is the night time. This is a little night scene here on the streets of Mumbai. So we're gonna go check it out. 
I want to um, get something to eat. So we're going to pop over to one of the food stands over here. One of the unique thing about Mumbai, you find a lot of various uh, street food throughout the city. So it don't, it don't matter where you are, you will find that here in Mumbai. So look at this guys, it's a little bit busy. A lot of people are coming back from work. And you got everything around here from biryani to chai, which is tea and different things like that. So let's pop over. I can see over there they got something like an egg sandwich or something like that. So that looks very, very tasty. So we're going to try an egg sandwich and yeah, I'll let you know how it tastes like. So these are all people coming and buy stuff. They're coming from work right now. All right, namaste. I'm guessing here. Take care. Yeah, kidney can, yeah? Ten rupees. Oh, come on. Rupees. Yeah, kidney can, yeah? Egg fish, ten rupees. Ka. Ten, ten rupees, huh? Oh. Okay. Mujhe ek chahi hai. Ek chahi hai. Yeah. Every day, guys. Okay, so we're gonna have one. Mujhe ek chahi hai means one in uh, Hindi. So this is it, guys. This is an egg sandwich and it's going for egg ten rupees. Live and direct on the streets of Mumbai. YouTube. Yeah. So this is where you're gonna put a little. This is this a, onion. Onion. Uh, tora tora. Little Sauce. bit. Yeah, little bit. Al -gal -gal -gal. Yeah. Yeah, guys. So this is where you're gonna put a bit of onion in there for me and little, little. little. Yeah, yeah, thank you. And a little bit of sauce. Very unique feature. They serve you it on the um, newspaper paper. Very unique here, guys. I guess you'll see that throughout India. So this is me trying the egg sandwich here in Mumbai. Not bad at all. The sauce is a bit spicy. You got the onion, the eggs fried well. Your local style. So this is it, guys. For only 10, sorry. For only 10 rupees. I'm gonna finish this. And we go check out more places here in Mumbai. Yellow, 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 yellow